Make sure to stand till the end, it could be something else causing this problem. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a dot charger and if you need to test camshaft position sensors, stay with us, we'll explain how to do that in this video today. It's very important to know how to do it so you don't cause damage to the electrical components, computers, relays, fuses, multiple things guys. Now, it could be something else causing your problem, so stay with us, we'll explain what could be a simple solution, all that will be covered in this video today. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make guys at least two to three hundred free repair videos. On that dot charger, we'll have even more. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos, absolutely free. And if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for your dot charger or any car, you want to get them at a good price and quick shipping, you want to save money, check out the link in the description of the video below, that's where we get all our to supplies from and uh, we'll share where you can find even additional things so what we have here specifically 2018 dodge this is guys the v6 3.6 uh, charger engine right here uh, one of the most common charger engines that uh, we can think of now that's uh, the uh, engine we removed the you can see the intake manifold here so we can get to camshaft position sensor on cylinder head number one also known as bank one bank one is number one cylinder head be very careful not to drop anything inside now common mistakes people make they can drop something they don't know they dropped it and they will destroy their engine when they start number two if you dropped let's say a bolt or a nut or something and you use a magnetic tool to remove it what what can easily happen guys you can actually demagnetize okay demagnetize the magnetic wheels on the camshafts and the new sensor will not be reading again uh, so you need to be careful not to use any magnetic tools around here so now if you want to see guys how to replace camshaft position sensor we have the complete video on the channel that will teach you how to do that step by step also, if you need to buy a new one, we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get one from for a really good price, really affordable and quick shipping as well. This sensor consists of two sensors uh, because this, okay, uh, this engine has dual variable timing. It means you have variable timing on the uh, exhaust camshaft, intake camshaft, and the engine computer needs to know the exact position of each camshaft at any time. So if you have two sensors integrated in that camshaft position sensors, it will be located like that. So we will explain how to test, okay, uh, both practically. But if you look at the sensor, okay, when it's installed, you have that connector here. You have four wires installed right here, four wires, guys. The first two wires on the right side are for camshaft position sensor two bank one and the left two are for camshaft position sensor one bank one so we'll remove the sensor okay and we'll explain how to test you need a magnet but stay away from the camshaft itself don't come close to the camshaft now how we're going to do that pretty simple we need a voltmeter now i'm going to go ahead okay let me pass the camera right here okay we can come and hold the camera and i'll show you how we're going to test it really really easily so we'll go ahead and connect the connector to the camshaft sensor okay make sure that red thing is plugged in that's a common mistake people make when they replace camshaft sensor that can damage them in some cases if you have problems with the camshaft sensor and you still don't get a signal even though yours is good could be a wire that's pulled out of the connectors, broken wire, uh, power terrain fuse or power terrain relay. We're going to get guys, okay, those special probes that are not expensive at all. I'll put the link in the description of the video below. But what you can do, you can practically come around the wire and it's going to poke a hole in the wire without cutting the wire. So it can go through the wire and we can get signal. Perfect. One is in. Now we are doing the other one on the yellow wire. That's for uh, camshaft position sensor 2, bank 1. So I'm doing that one now. Perfect. Now we'll have a person go inside and turn the ignition switch on. Okay. Turn the ignition switch on to the second position. Do not start the car. Do not press the brake paddle. Just it needs to be to run position. Do not press the brake paddle again. We're going to go to 20 volts right here. Let me turn the backlight so we can probably see a little bit better. Now we have it at 4.93 volts. Uh, now one of those is a 12 volt, uh, is a is a 5 volt supply wire 
the other one is a signal wire when you go through a magnet that wire okay that okay like that it will not work you you cannot see it clearly okay let's just position it in one position so we can see what's happening if you come with a magnet close to that sensor that we have here for camshaft position sensor too when i come close with a magnet it should go to zero volts because the signal okay let me see which one it was now okay the signal will go away check it out now you can see okay let me see where the magnet is uh, exactly which one it is okay right there five zero five zero five zero so that's how it reads it's on and off switch so this is a good sensor let's go ahead leave that one here for a second i'm going to switch the wires i recommend to always turn the ignition off i'll switch the wires to the other side now and we're going to test the next sensor okay camshaft position sensor one bank one remember we have two different components here right so this one now let me see i actually caught the same wire that wasn't very smart with both of them so wire number two Let me see if I have enough power here. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to read the, uh, leave the reader here. Let me see if I can put it here. Okay, it can go either zero or five. Check it out now. Five, zero. I just switched the polarity. Five, zero, but it doesn't matter. Five, zero, that's a good sensor, guys. It reads correctly on each side. So. Hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you needing help with that. If you have any questions let us know. Thank you for watching and see you next time.